Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a first impression on the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation and just kind of let you know what I think about it as far as how it works with like acne prone skin and oily skin and stuff like that because I've seen a lot of people review this foundation but I haven't seen anyone with like bad skin try it out so this is what it looks like right there and if you would like to see uh, my thoughts on the foundation please just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> guys, welcome to sleepy puppy land let me show you what I mean okay so what we are going to do today is we're going to be doing a first impression on the new makeup forever ultra HD foundation I am the color Y335 and I just got a little sample from Sephora I want to see how well this works with my skin since I do have acne. Everybody that I've seen review this has like gorgeous perfect skin, like no texture at all. So I wanted to see how it worked on my face. Okay, so let's get started. So first what I'm going to do is prime this side of my face. Because um, sometimes I do use a primer and sometimes I don't. So I kind of want to see how it works with and without it, if you know what I mean. So the primer I used is just a sample of the um, Cover FX primer for like acne skin. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Okay, so now that I'm primed, I'm going to cover all of my pimples with some concealer. And the reason I'm doing this is because I haven't found a foundation that will cover my pimples without it yet. So I've actually used this prior to this video um, and I tried not using concealer and it definitely did not work. So I'm going to conceal with the e.l.f. Cover All Concealer and the color Tan. And then before we get started, I just want to tell you what my skin type is. I do have oil in the T-zone and then I get dry around my nose. And obviously when my pimples are drying out, they get dry as well. So now for foundation, and like I said, I believe my color is Y335. Um, I will leave it in the description box, just so you know for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and start blending it out on this side, just in case it dries quickly. Okay, so what I'm noticing right now is a little does not go a long way, which kind of sucks because I believe this foundation is like $45 or something. Okay, so after the first layer, it's looking like a medium coverage. Um, you can obviously still see my problem areas. This foundation claims to be a very natural looking foundation. And also, it's supposed to look really good on camera and photos and supposed to be no flashback and all that stuff. Okay, so basically this is my skin after one layer. I'm not feeling too great about the coverage. I may add a little bit more concealer because I really doubt a second layer is going to cover everything. Okay, now we'll go on for another layer. Okay, so there's two layers, that's all I'm going to do, but I will say that this uh, foundation does have quite a large um, shade range, and that's a really great quality to have, obviously, in a foundation. This girl at Sephora picked out my shade, and I say it's pretty close, it's not like exactly spot on. And I, I will put everything as far as the link to Sephora where you can buy it. Um, down in the description box if you'd like to check it out. Okay, so let me take a mirror and see up close what I'm thinking about this. Okay, so from what I'm seeing, it seems like a medium coverage. It didn't seem to really build that much. The finish on it does seem like a pretty natural finish. I think it looks pretty decent. I will say that this spot right here that is like really dry where pimples kind of going away it's kind of 
clinging and not like blending around that spot. Like you can see that it's like dry and stuff. So let me get a little closer to the camera. So now I guess what I'm going to do is just finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to show you how I think everything applied afterwards. So I will be right back. Alright guys, so I just finished my makeup and if you're curious about this makeup, I'm actually doing a Valentine's Day tutorial on it. Um, I will leave a link down below for it um, if you're interested in seeing that. But anyways, I just wanted to come back and kind of show you what it looks like after I finished the rest of my makeup. And from what I can see in person, I don't know how it looks on camera. In person, it looks like everything applied really nicely, like it doesn't look patchy really or anything. Nothing is really rubbed off or anything uh, and it looks pretty good I think. I don't really have any plans to do anything today. I already ran my errands this morning so yeah basically I just plan on like cleaning the house mostly but yeah one thing I am noticing is like around my nose a lot of foundations have problems with sticking on dry patches and I did exfoliate there today but it looks really good around my nose so that is a big plus for me right there but like I said I will be back in a couple hours and do another update and let you know what I think then all right bye all right guys so I just wanted to come back and do an update for you on this makeup forever ultra HD foundation I applied it at two o'clock today and it is now eight o'clock so it's been six hours since I first applied the foundation and basically all I've done today is clean the house some and, you know, nothing really. I didn't work up a sweat or anything, so. It looks pretty good for, you know, six hours. But, I mean, I didn't really do anything and I tried my best not to touch my face. I will say, um, like around my nose where my pores are the largest, it looks to have broken up just a little bit. And then... One of these bigger pimples I have, it's kind of broken up on top of that, and I don't really remember touching it, but it's possible that it did. But I would say my bronzer and everything still looks good, it doesn't look like patchy or anything, so that's always a plus. Where I usually get oily is like my forehead, mostly like right in between my eyebrows, and it seems to be pretty dry, so that is good. But I would say for six hours, this looks really good. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, oh, and I took pictures with this on, and there's no flashback, and it looks really, really good in pictures. With that being said, I really do like this foundation a lot. I don't know for sure if I'm going to buy it yet or not. It's not like a holy grail foundation to me, but... I do like it a lot and I do think that if you didn't have like a lot of problem areas on your face like I do that it would be really really good but unfortunately I do have a lot of problem areas so it's hard to find something that I just really really love anyways thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video if you have tried out this foundation please let me know down below what you think so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me I'll have all the information to this foundation below as well as my social media snapchat Twitter Instagram Facebook blah blah whatever down below in the description so if you want to check that out as well please do and I really hope to see you in my next video bye